All right, everyone, how about three quick cards and a bottom card with me? I wasn't going to pull another reading today, just a weekly reading. You know, I got a big week of re up sign updates and all kinds of Saturn retrograde this and that coming up uh, probably starting tomorrow or Monday, one of the two days. That said, I was going to take the day off. But I, I was pulling some cards offline, and uh, I, this kept coming up. I, I can't get rid of Sarah Gilbert, right? <laughs> the two of swords here. So let's have a chat, shall we? Because the energy right now is pretty intense. It's pretty interesting. Well, I find it interesting. You may not. <laughs> but anyway, I did a couple of tweets about it today. Um, that said, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Doesn't matter what your sign is. It's just straight up energy reading. Me being me. Ah, uh, but if you found this reading or the title brought you in here, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Speaking of timeless, Sarah Gilbert right here. <laughs> what about this pre-shuffle? Huh? This little pre-read. I, I pulled, I don't know, probably three or four offline readings. I was just fucking around. I was bored. Um, and I can't get rid of this card. And then I shuffled and I got this. And I said, you know what? I'm going to load up the software. The software, the laptop was booted anyway. So fuck it. Here we are. Uh, you know, these three quick cards turn into 400 cards because I clarify what needs clarifying. But I'm not sure we're going to need to do too much of that here. Um, I did a tweet today about... Uh, well, I, I, about de uh, the death card energy in particular. The death card's been coming up a lot. It's been all through the June readings. It's been coming up left and right um, all over the place. That being said, the energy around us, us, you and your person, everybody, is changing. right? And we have to change with that energy. We have to flow with it. I saw it in a Leo reading where, where I talked to the universe uh, and I got the death card crossing the death card. I saw energy changing around their person and their person changing with it, which blew my mind. But they are. They're sort of accidentally flowing with it. What's happening here, why we're here right now, is because of this Two of Swords. Okay? And it's crossed by the Three of Cups and it's got a Ten of Pentacles. These three cards I've been looking at all damn day and they've sort of been in different order, in different contexts, they've been coming out together from different decks. Um, and what it really is, is somebody is your connection, okay? Your soul connection with this person has confused the fuck out of the runner. And they're, it's reaching a fever pitch right now, okay? It's reaching a, a tipping point, if you will. I said in June, keep an eye out for that Ten of Wands. We want to see that Ten of Wands break. And we really are at a fever pitch right now. There, there's, a, there's a moment of uh, like a deer in the headlights, so to speak where this person wants to open up and this person is confused about why they haven't opened up yet they know they want to and also they're confused by whatever they see as long term on their side you know, your, your connection through a monkey wrench and their plan their plan was to sit in however they've been living it was fine with them until you came along right that's kind of, I mean I'm paraphrasing but you, you catch my drift it was fine with them until you come along for a while they blamed you for it there was a lot of anger in the energy and resentment I why that damn soulmate have to cross my path that kind of thing well now it's a little different I got the three of cups this is emotion okay so this is also three energies here in this context all right someone here is confused. The, the, the Ten of Pentacles, that what they thought they had was real isn't real, and then you came along and now they, they're confused as to why they don't open up to you and just leave what they got. But they, it's sort of like a lot of times in psychology, a common question, like, like therapists will tell you, a common question that people ask when they go in is, why am I stuck in the past? Right? It, or some form of that question. It's a very common question. People want to know why they can't let go of the past. That's what your person is here. They're, they're in that question. All right? And if they were watching me, I'd be their therapist. But uh, they're not. But at least you're going to find out what's going on here with the energy. That's where it's at. You're going to be in the same place. I'm going to pull probably either tomorrow, Sunday, or Monday. It depends, if, it dep depends on the energy combined with my schedule. Uh, I'm going to pull on Saturn Retrograde. And Saturn Retrograde is, is operating under the current energies. Everything is all with it. And it's, it's, it's given us a chance to sort of see where we've been, all right? Take the lessons from it, apply them in the present, and, and kind of get a feel for where we want to go in the future. Your person's doing that right now. That's what those three cards are. So I would let this play out. 
The energy around you is changing. I know some of you have said you feel depressed and some of you have said you feel uh, anxious and, and all that. All of that and more. It's going to affect everybody differently. The energy that we live in, okay? It's not just about the cycle that changed and the little tiny cycle that's in, in, in inside that that I've been talking about. There's a little seventh month, uh, seven month cycle that's starting. The core energy has already changed. We're in a new fishbowl. But it's more than that. It's, it's that... There's some sort of, it's like a storm is the easiest way I can describe it. Think of like a hurricane when you look at it on satellite, right? It's like that big thing right there. We're sort of in the eye of that storm right now. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's our chance. Saturn retrograde is kind of our chance to take a look around and see where we want to go. See what the best route is. I don't want to take that road. There's too many trees. Could fall on the car. I don't want to take that road. You know, that kind of thing. That kind, those kinds of decisions. But we have to look at the past in order to see where we're going. All right, Let's see where we go here. Let's shuffle the deck. Give me three cards and a bottom card, universe. Tell these people what you want to tell them because you were damn... Fickle old gal was damn hell-pressed, hell-bent on getting me out here today. Okay. It's been a fun day. Energy's weird. I started my day with a craft fuel line on my car. I thought I'd take a ride up the coast. I got about five miles, and I'm like, it smelled like a gas station in here. What the hell's going on? So I, you know, I spent half the day <laughs> trying to get that sucker taken care of. Uh, it wasn't that it was a hard job. It's just hard to reach. It's, it's always, it's never the ones on top that break, is it? It's always the ones that are underneath some. You got to take 50 things off to get to. Uh, that's the way it goes. See, what, what the hell? Why am I your second favorite energy? I should be your first favorite fuel line changer because it was a miracle that I got in there. But Steve Hand, you know, it's nice. Uh, but I was just talking about energy changing around. I got the world card. Yeah, we're, everything is changing. Everything. And you've got to flow with the energy. I'm telling you that. Okay? As far as your person, I can't tell them that. They're not listening. Now. All right, let's see. Let's pull three cards. It's a page of cups. Isn't, isn't that adorable? Uh, it's a queen, uh, queen of swords. We got a blue theme going here. And there's that ten of pentacles again. Yeah. And the world is crossing the queen of swords. <laughs> Listen, it's time to take the sword out. Your person is sitting there thinking pensively, aware of a truth, aware of things changing around them. All right, oh, uh, and inside them, love is growing. But the problem is, and this world tells me that what's under the world just for fun? Oh, look, another circle, the wheel of fortune. See, the shit is changing. It's turning 180 degrees. Somebody here can't sit in how in what they've been sitting in. It's what I just told you. The energy is changing around us. We can't stay the way we were. We have to flow with it. If we try to stay the way we were, everything goes batshit, catawampus, crazy. Okay, it's the easiest way I can put it. It's a very homespun way to put it. I'm not going to go off and start talking about politics and politician this and this this. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to alienate my audience because you will not like my political views. I promise you, <laughs> the world is <laughs> swimming against the current. But I will tell you, we have to be careful here. All right, and your person here has to be careful. Your person cannot sit in what they thought was real. It's looking very small to them. There's a couple of energies around this this page of cups. It's starting to look very small to them. It's starting to look very bad. In fact, I don't have a card to back it up, but I would be willing to bet here in this energy, you're having 5D conversations with your person. If you find yourself sitting around watching TV or walking down the street or whatever it is, and you zone out. And you just start like thinking about having a conversation with them. I promise you, you actually are. Uh, that's actually what's happening. And you might get a sign in the real world that that, that that was actually happening. You should always tell the universe something to give you that tells you that your person's there. Okay? Uh, it, 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 maybe it's a person who walks their dog in, the, in, in, in your neighborhood. Whenever you see that person, that means your person's energy is around you. Or it's a color. It can be a color. It can be anything. You should, you should give the universe. Just tell it. Tell it what you want. Feel it. You can say the words. The words really don't matter. Feel what you want. Picture it in your mind's eye and send it out with feeling. And it, it will, the universe will attach to that. 
okay? But I, I promise you, if, you're, if you zone out a little bit, almost get in a state of like hypnosis where it's like some kind of daydream going on in your head and you're talking to your person, uh, I promise you, you actually probably are. They are in deep thought um, and they are realizing some truths that they can't unknow. They cannot sit in the energy, the energy around us, the entire world, but we're just talking about the soulmate cycle here, <clears throat> so I don't alienate anybody. Don't get me started. Um, the entire energy around us is shifting. It's transforming into something else. You need to just let it flow. If you're feeling depressed, go with it. Look at it. Find out why. If you're feeling anxious, look at it. Take it out of the box. Let yourself feel it. You do that by just letting yourself feel it. All right, let those feelings flow, and and you'll figure out why. Eventually, as they flow through, you'll start to you'll start to get some clarity. All right, um, it, it really is what's going on, right? Your person cannot sit anymore in this. I'm going to pull on this Ten of Pentacles here. It's a very important card. I'll I'll straighten the table out, make it look all pretty for you. All right, there we go. Ten of Pentacles. Why is it here? It's a very interesting card. Mm. Very interesting energy around this. They've known this for quite a while. They're very good. The runners in this cycle are very good at distracting themselves and looking away. I think it's what they were raised to do. But that's not really any psychic, crazy, energy reading, whatever ability saying that. That's how most children are raised. Most children are, aren't raised to process their emotions. They're, they're raised to distract themselves and forget about it. You know, drink a beer, let it go, whatever. That kind of thing. It's... It's not really the best best way to go. The best thing to do is just go with the flow of energy. Um, the energy around your person is really, really shifting here. Uh, it, it came up in a recent Leo reading, but it's for everybody. It really is. Um, let's see. Let's see this Ten of Pentacles because it's time for the sword to come out of the sheath here, and I think it's going to. Um, they're realizing, you know, a lot of things. Yeah. What did I just get done saying? The affecting energy around their Ten of Pentacles, your person's Ten of Pentacles, okay? Their long-term, whatever this picture represents to your person. They don't have to be married. They could be single. However they've been living is Five Pentacles. That's the energy. That's the environment. That's, the, that's what, if we walked in their house, that's the, it would feel like Five Pentacles. It would feel like this. You'd pro if you and I walked in their house, this person's house, You'd probably look at me and go, it feels, I think we should go. I th really, I think we should go. Yeah. It, it's that, it makes you feel like that. Like you, you showed up at the wrong time. Like they were just arguing and you showed up. It's that kind of, it's, it's an energy of despair. It's the only way I can describe how I feel it. Okay. And I know that's a, you know, kind of a down the middle word, but they can't live in that anymore. They know it. They want love. The love is building up inside of them. We'll pull on that little page. Don't worry. What's what's on top? Yeah. What did I just get done saying? My God. Mom, he's amazing. You should see this guy. I know. Okay. Thank you. See, I'm glad they treat me better now, the mother and son duo there. Okay. Uh, uh, Ace of Swords. They know. But the, here's the beautiful thing. It's the Lightseer. That's why I'm glad I'm using the Lightseer deck. This here comes out from the mind in. A lot of readers, I've seen readers do this where it comes in. It comes in. No, obviously they've never used a flashlight before. Okay, it, it starts small and it gets wider the further out it goes, it, it, unless it's a laser pointer, of course, but this ain't a laser pointer. It's coming from inside. Everything starts from within us. Everything starts from within us, if in, at the soul level, okay? Energy flow is 5D to 3D. It starts within us. The, who we really are is the soul. It starts from us and then it radiates out. It, it radiates up to the brain, the heart, the heart opens, it translates it, it goes up to the brain and then it radiates out. That's what this card is showing me. They can't sit in this. Whether they come toward you, I don't know. They might be afraid to because a lot of time has passed. I don't fucking know. But I do know that they can't sit in this. They can't unsee it. You can't unknow the truth here. They can't. 
You can't either, but you know, you're gonna take you're here listening to me. You're gonna take my advice. All you gotta do is flow with the energy and I explain to you how. Let's just if you're feeling anxious, feel anxious. Fine. Be okay with it. It's, it's just what you're feeling right now. Let it flow. It'll transform. You'll figure it out. Acknowledge it. Learn what you can from it and move forward. What's your person though? I don't know if they're gonna do that. We gotta see the next card. Six of swords, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, the universe answering my question. Slowly but surely. It's the third slowest energy in the tarot. It's um, by how I read it. Um, it's calmer waters. It's choppy. It implies it's choppy where they are right now. All right? Well, we know that anyway. Because <laughs> the energy around them is five pentacles. <laughs> the energy around their ten of pentacles is five pentacles. And, and all I get off of that card, I don't care what the card means in the book, all I get off that card is despair. That's it. But they can fix it. Fives are temporary in the tarot. They can fix it. She can fix it. She got a key. It's right there. Hey, asshole, wake up. The key's right there. Put it in the door. Your person, though, that they, they can't unknow this. What's bookend in the Ace of Swords? Yeah, I think, look at that. The Knight of Swords. Like, they're going to be communicating this. On two sides, they might communicate it to you. I can't guarantee they're going to come towards you. But I can guarantee how that you've changed their life. Okay? This soul connection has changed their life. Because without this soul connection, the energy around still would have been trans, uh, transforming and shifting. Okay? But they wouldn't have... They, they would have been okay with it. They would have just thought it was something normal in their normal life. And, because their life was kind of shit anyway. So if everything feels a little off, it feels a little off. They, if they were married, they might have just fought a little bit more than usual. Kind of a thing like that. But now, it's not like that. Now everything feels different to this person. Okay, whoever this is, I'm pulling on. But it, it, it's that way for all of us. Okay, I'm only reading the incoming energy here, but the energy for all of us is shifting. Which means on your side, you, you might, you know, it could be a whole lot of too little too late for, for this person to show up. I don't know where you're at. Or you're waiting on this person, uh, which you shouldn't be doing. You should just leave the door open for them. You don't want to put any expectations. That fills voids. You want to leave the void a void so the universe can fill it with this person or someone better. This, this Knight of Swords off of this Ace of Swords tells me that it's not just about the information from the soul coming up to the brain and then radiating out. It's literally about in the 3D, there's going to be some kind of communication here. They're going to say something and fix something. Do something. All right? Let's pull on this page of cups and then we'll get out of here. All right, here we go. I, I mean, part of my job around here, and it always has been since I got here, is to be your energy weatherman. And I know a lot of you are feeling a little off and a little this and a little that. I'm telling you the energy around us, the energy that we live in is shifting. It's transforming. You must shift with it. You, things cannot stay the same the way they were. You can't keep living the way you were. Neither can your person. And for them, it's, it's, it's extra important. Because for a lot of you, your person's sitting in a toxic relationship or marriage that the love is long gone, the expiration date's long past, or they're just, they're just an, air, it's an air of unhappiness on the runner's side in this cycle that I haven't seen in other cycles on this level. Okay? So it is what it is. Uh, page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups here. Because this Page of Cups is red with... I know about the Queen of Swords. I get it. <laughs> Truths are being... You know, there's Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. There's Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. They've got it. They, they took the sword. He dropped off the sword. They took it. They got it. It's, it's time to take it out and do something. It looks like they do. But I want this Page of Cups is red with this Ten of Pentacles. So I want to see here what, what this is about. Give me the energy around it. What's the affecting energy of that? Yeah, can't fake it anymore. It's fakey McFakerman. That does not fucking surprise me one bit. Man, this is like this and the King of Wands. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are the two most common cards. I swear to God, if I ever met your person, your runner, and I was standing in front of them, whether I had a, de a deck of cards with me or not, I guarantee you, Somehow, some way, there'd be a king or queen of wands on the floor in front of me. Uh, it, it really, it would fall out of a pocket or something. It, it's unreal. 
this is fakey mcfakerman this is someone here who can't fake it anymore it's an energy of they can't pretend that they love what the, what this is what their ten of pentacles is however they've been living they can't pretend they love it anymore all right and they did this is also an energy by the way where they pretended you didn't matter mm. but that's very common in the soulmate cycles it's very common actually for the runner to pretend that you don't matter that's how they cope right shutting down mm, silence that's that's fine it's all fucking fake though what's on top jesus christ the seven of cups i said i opened this reading by saying your person's confused didn't we open with old sarah gilbert there the two of swords you remember that they are it, this is nothing but an energy of confusion what do i do now yeah, I mean, think about it. Uh, I've been lying to myself. I lied to that soulmate that I should have gone with because they were my out. I've been saying that how I've been living was great, and now it's not. Now what do I do? Now I know that I'm unhappy. Now I know that this isn't right. Everything feels weird. Everything feels different. What do I do now? Mm, that's that energy. I just did it for you in a skit. Okay, there you go. Uh, free of charge. All right, what's... <laughs> What's the center card here? Base energy in this little pole here is the Seven of Wands. I don't, I actually did what this guy did. Yeah, I know I'm off camera, but I actually did right here. This was me leaning, and this is a table that, that the cards are on. This was me. This is exactly what I just did when I breathed out right there. That's funny. I just looked at it and went, yep. Um, I can't decide. There's two or three energies attached to this. I can't decide if it's they're going to stand up and do what's right for them or if it's making them defensive within themselves. I'm going to guess defensive within themselves because this Queen of Swords has the sword and the sheath. Okay? I think, I think at the moment that's where we're at. They're mad at themselves for not doing anything. And we saw that in the pre-shuffle. Right, I said that. Why didn't Why didn't I ever reach out to the soulmate? Why didn't I ever tell them how I feel? You know, it's someone who's very confused by their own behavior. Okay, and that can happen when the energy around you changes. Yeah, it's a bit like changing scenes. You know, imagine you were a cartoon, right? And you're a cartoon rabbit, and you're in a in a in a carrot patch, right? In a garden, and you're eating carrots. This you're this little cartoon rabbit. Well, in cartoons, they have background scenery. So they probably would have trees and all kinds of birds in the trees and fields and stuff like that in the background. But imagine you're, you're that little rabbit and you're down there and, and you grab a, a carrot out of the ground and then you pop your head up. And then the next time you pop your head up, there's a huge city around you with skyscrapers and it just doesn't fit. Something's completely off about it. That's kind of what's going on with your person right now. That's why the now what do I do, a little bit of confusion and a little bit of defensiveness towards it. Eh, I would give them some empathy. Mm. I have deep empathy. I've got some to spare, but mm, what's bookend in this Seven of Cups? Let's find out together. I haven't looked. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, your person never ceases to disappoint me. I swear to God. Um, I imagine they disappoint you on quite a high level, too. Mm. Um, the Page of... They're learning. Slowly. Slowly. It's... It, Ah, uh, it, it's yes. They're going. They're learning. It's the card of the student. Okay, it's they're defensive towards it a little bit. Okay, nobody likes to admit that they've been full of shit. Nobody likes to admit that they've wasted a lot of time living this way when they had a chance when you two first crossed paths to just take it, but they weren't. They weren't ready, and so they sabotaged the whole thing. Now they got to go back and try and fix it. Somebody here kept telling themselves, this is done, it's over. This is done, it's over. But they were full of shit. This, is, this, this person, this Queen of Wands, is the, is the most full of shit person in the goddamn tarot. <laughs> it's just unreal. Okay, I'm going to pull on the Queen of Swords. I know I said I know what it is, but I, I want to go in their head a little bit here. Based on that disappointment, pull up your damn pants. For fuck's sake. All right, Queen of Swords. Tell me about the baseline energy here. All right, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Okay, what do we got going on here? Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Oh, okay, we're going to do Fancy Shuffle. Okay, all right, all right. Fancy Shuffle, oh, well, fuck yeah. 
You remember who was crossing here? Do y'all remember? It was that Queen of Wands we were just talking about, right? Mm, and I said she's the most full of shit in the tarot, didn't I? Mm. I don't know. I think this one will give her a run for her money. It's the King of Wands. It's the fucking bar. God, those two cards. I'm not fucking with you. I swear to God. If I ever met your person, I hope I have a deck of cards with me so I could just take it out. I bet, I bet one of those two cards would be at the bottom without even shuffling. It would just be, oh my God, look, it's the Queen of Wands. That's your person. Uh, King of Wands. It's, it's the Burger King. It's Burger King energy on crack. Why are they defensive toward all of this? Why is all of... I mean, they're, this is... The universe already told us slowly but surely they're going to... They have to do something. They can't... They're going to figure it out. Your person's slow to figure this out. And then once they do, they, they take fast action toward changing this. Okay? They're going to play catch up on the energy. They're, they're going to try to... I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to try to fight the current of the energy transforming around them. And they're going to realize they can't and it's going to cause a tower and then they're going to ha and then they're going to run real fast and if that run is not fast enough get on a motorcycle to try to catch back up again and that's exactly what's going to happen because that's what this person does all the time uh, the king of wands the king of double talk uh it's it's ego it's pride it's again it's it goes to what i told you I can understand why they're defensive i don't mean to hand them empathy but i can understand why they're defensive and nobody likes, certainly somebody with your person's ego, because it's all ego that caused that you had a soul connection. It was their ego, i.e. the brain, that caused them to, to run from this, creating fears and no, 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 you're a threat to my ten of pentacles. Yeah, you were a threat to something that was already shit by the time you, they, you crossed paths with them. So they've been lying and, and trying to defend something that's indefensible. It's something that was already dead. You wouldn't have had soul recognition. The universe works off a principle of for the greater good. You wouldn't have had a soul recognition with this person, whether they're married or not. It doesn't matter. Let's say they're married. And they, they, they pretend to be happy, which is what the king and queen of wands do. right? You wouldn't have had a soul recognition with them if it wasn't for the greater good of both involved. The universe isn't in the, God source the universe isn't in the business of breaking up marriages. It doesn't run a divorce firm on the side trying to drum up business, okay? It doesn't care about that. It's energy, it's for the greater good. So it, this was already shit, you know? And it's, they're, they're ego, it's all ego. It's all ego on their part. It could be someone, if they're married, that saw divorce as a, a, a a loss of some kind or a failure, which is ridiculous. The only failure is staying in something that's shit. And now it's too late. A lot of times we get signs to leave things or to change our life, we'll say. Okay? We don't, we don't, it doesn't have to be a marriage. We get signs to change our life all the time. Um, usually it's best to go with the flow of energy, if not always, and just go ahead and follow the signs and, and change your life. What happens usually is we don't do that and then we're forced to change our life. Circumstances force our hand. Like the person who doesn't quit drinking when they, all the signs are they should quit drinking and they just keep drinking. Well, later down the road, because they went against the flow of energy, maybe they get liver problems or something along those lines, right? And then they're forced. Then they have to do it. Then it's not about whether or not they want to. They have to stop. Okay, so either way, the energy wins. The universe wins in the end. This person here is slow to figure that out. Right? That's why they keep landing in those towers and things like that. They have, a, they have an opportunity here. With the energy changing, all they need to do is flow with it. And I believe they do after a bit. It's the devil. It's the devil on top of this. It's that, again, why, why, is, that, why is that there? Uh, well, the King of Wands, ego. The reason that the Queen's sword here is in the sheath and they're not just cutting this out is, is because of ego. It's because of fear. It's, the, it's devil energy. It's toxic. They've been in it for a while. Again, it's this energy of someone who just thinks that, well, I've been living this way for so long, I'm, I'm just going to keep doing it. But that's not a reason to keep doing something. I don't understand that logic at all. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it is what it is. But the good news is the center card here is the chariot. 
I did catch a glimpse of that before the devil. I'll be honest with you. That these two came out together, and and, it, and because that happened, I just split them up and threw the devil first, just for drama, because I like my Trans Am driving asshole. But right here, um, the uh, a balanced emperor drives the chariot. This this is someone who's moving away from this behavior. They they don't really have a choice. What's bookending the devil? More proof that they're moving away from it. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. It's, I believe, because I've got two fast cards here, they're a slow learner. But when they do learn, uh, they take action quickly. All right? They do. I and mean, this is kind of uh, equal and opposite here a little bit because the devil generates fear. And this, Knight of Wands is bookending it. This is a brave, impulsive action. So, emphasis on the word brave. So, again, mm -hmm. I, I will restate what I already said. And, and it applies to the soulmate cycle in the sense of they cannot. And I'm using the word cannot. They cannot and will not be able to stay in the energy and keep things in their life as they were. They will not be able to do that. It will end in misery if they do. And lots of towers and lots of upset. We already have five pentacles crossing this ten pentacles. That's not a happy home. Okay? That's not... Again, you'd look at me if we were there and go, we should go. Okay. <laughs> I, I'd be right there with you. But okay, let's go. I already have my keys out in that kind of environment. In that kind of air. Energetic air, if you will. Uh, neither can the world, by the way. This is, again, this is global energy. It's not just about the soulmate cycle. The, the energy around us is transforming. You can see it happening all around you in the 3D, but what you see is nothing compared to what's actually happening. If you think high gas prices are, 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 are what I'm talking about, you'll weigh the fuck off. We cannot continue to keep living the way we've been living, and they cannot continue any more than they can. All we have to do is flow with the energy and we'll be fine. I don't have a lot of faith in the human race that it will and I don't have a lot of faith in your person that they will. But I hope to God we do. Either way, uh, it's big. It's a big shift. Things are about to get real different for your person if they don't change uh, their circumstances here and push past this ego. It looks like they do. They've got some fears. Fears about ego, possibly. They're living in an environment of ego, of image, some sort of image here. And that's what they're realizing, that, that phoniness, you know. But it, it's, it's, it's gotten to a point in the soulmate cycle now where, where a lot of other energies have changed and, and a lot of hands are being forced here. Keep that in mind for yourself, too. Use the Saturn. I'm going to pull on Saturn retrograde, like I said, and we'll talk about it there. But use the Saturn retrograde energy. Uh, flow with the energy that's around you. Feel what you feel. Whatever it is you feel, just feel it. Use that Saturn retrograde energy to take a look at where you've been and figure out where you're going. And if it involves this person, great. If it doesn't, okay. Make sure you just take your lessons from this soulmate cycle because there was a lot for you to learn here. If, for, if nothing else, if you're like one of the people out there going, Steve, there was nothing for me to learn from this other than don't, don't date assholes. Well, no, that's not really your lesson. But it, it may be sort of a little bit. I mean, you know, you're kind of paraphrasing there if that's your response. Really, it's this, this person, your person, the incoming energy here is a cautionary tale. It's a cautionary tale. It's, it's like a, a mother telling her daughter who's getting married, make sure you don't end up like me. Okay? It's something, it's something along those lines. Which is probably for some of you what your person's mother should have told them before they got married. Because I think a lot of, I get a very strong energy here, for, and not for all of you, but for a small percentage of you where your person's married or with somebody, uh, that uh, uh, what they think is love, they have no idea what love is. They thought it was love going in. And they learned, and this connection for your person showed up to show them what it actually is, right? It's just like if you think fake chocolate is, is chocolate. You know, they use artificial chocolate and stuff like that. And you, and, they, and you think that that's chocolate. And then I show up with some fancy Belgian chocolate or some Giardelli shit or something and show you what chocolate really is. This connection was the Giardelli shit, okay? It was real chocolate. And uh, they, they, it threw them for a loop. It really confused the hell out of them. And 
it causes their ego is a defense mechanism so it causes it to come up so anyway that's your reading that's what's here and the, the message for you is the energy around us is changing it's shifting you're going to see the death card in readings a lot we didn't get it here because we're pulling on that shift why would the universe give us the death card here well, it wouldn't um, but we're, it's been coming up a lot I think a lot of other readers might be getting it too and that's why mm, everything the, everything is just it's transforming within the new cycle that we're in the energy itself is transforming I called the new core energy cycle back in April you know kind of when we went into it mid-March through April um, I called it a, our new fishbowl if you recall in, a, in some videos and in a blog article I wrote about it um, well you can it's basically what's happening right now is we're getting a new filter in the fishbowl okay so that's kind of what's going on we're still in that core cycle but the energy within that core cycle is changing so it's completely different energy than we're used to and, and that's kind of what's going on you have to flow with it it's very powerful shit that's happening right now that being said take the information do with it what you will ignore it if you want mm -hmm. just cast it off as ramblings of a talking hand but I assure you it's real <laughs> and it's happening all right that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Took time out of my Saturday with my gas smell filled hands to give you a read. All my cards are going to smell like gasoline now. That's funny. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who watches, everybody who shares, just everybody. All right. Good luck. Have a good Saturday. And I will, maybe tomorrow on Sunday, I'm going to try to do the Saturn retrograde. If not, Monday for sure. Yeah, that's going to be a good reading. All right, good luck.